Right, here with Coach Edric Floreal and uh, first indoor track meet of 2015. What were your thoughts on your teams? I think the meet went over all well. We had uh, obviously the stars always shine. Uh, that's always not what you worry about when it comes down to a conference or an NCAA championship. It's the kids that have potential that are not putting it out there that you worry about. That's what stopped it from winning the title. Not the stars. You ain't got to worry about Daz or Kenny. Uh, uh, JVN finally, you know, she stepped up. She shows that she got something there. But overall, I'm just displeased with the number of kids that are in between. They're the tweeners, in between grade and average. And they're staying lukewarm. And those are the people that, that we got to find a way to set them on fire and kind of get them motivated to, to join the rest of the group in the front of the pack. So I guess the, you got a pretty good opportunity to get to light a fire under them coming up next week with a lot of confidence. Absolutely. Um, with that kind of caliber team coming, you don't want to light the fire there because these kids are so good that you're not going to be able to respond when they throw it at you. You have to do it at the Kentucky Invite. So when you get there, it lets you know that you're ready for the McGrady. Coming to the McGrady, you're trying to step up. That's not the place to do it. That competition is way too fierce to be able to step up. You're not going to step up against the NCAA collegiate record. This is not going to happen. You have to step up at the Kentucky Invite. That lets you know that you're ready for the McGrady. So that, that's going to be the issue is that they have so much work to do to get to that point. I don't think the competition is going to allow them to get to that point because it's so fierce. And then uh, I know you're kind of fixating on the in-between because it's about the team, but last year you and I talked a lot about sort of performing every time you go out. So what does it say for a senior leader like Desiree to come out and post two really good times like that? Yeah, I mean, performing like Caitlin Taylor, fantastic job. She ran in the C team on the second heat. Took the baton from fifth place to first place. That's just a simple effort. You don't have to run world leading time like Dez to catch the coach's eye. Some guys dies for the ball. Man, give us a possession. That's all you want. You're not asking somebody to make five threes in a row. We don't all have to be five three points in a row. All you got to do is just make an effort. And that effort carries on to somebody else's and somebody else's. And before you know it, you catch fire as a team and you have a championship team. But people have to make a decision themselves. You're not going to force them to die for the ball. That's intentional. You have to want to die for it. Then you got to sort of sacrifice your body to make it happen. If you're not going to do that, coaches can't do that for you. Thank you. You are.